Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up the brand new Lucario V-Star Premium Collection box. Now this box I did purchase for $10 under MSRP. I purchased it from Collector's Cash for $29.99. You can find a link to the website for collector's cash in the description of this video. Like I said, MSRP for this box, $39.99. And again, another reminder, please do not buy any Pokemon cards from Walmart. My local Walmart had this box in stock, $44.98. So they're essentially a reseller at this point. I would never recommend buying anything from resellers, paying more than MSRP for products. And it is nice to see that online retailers like a collector's cash are decreasing prices because supply has increased and demand has decreased. So it is nice that things are getting back to normal when it comes to before the pandemic. But again, avoid buying above MSRP products from Walmart. So this box, like I said, $39.99. I bought it for $29.99. It includes, and I am very happy to get this box opened up, six booster packs, including the newest set, Brilliant Stars, a couple of very cool looking Lucario promo cards. I know there's a V Star marker, a pin, an oversized card, a coin, and then an online TCG code card. If I flip the box over, you can actually see there right on the back what exactly you get on the inside. And you can find these boxes pretty much everywhere online, either for MSRP from stores like Target, Best Buy, GameStop, etc. Or in between anywhere from $30 to $35 for online card shops. Alright, so I'll get this box open up. I am a fan of Lucario from Furious Fist, I know. Mega Lucario there. I'm dating myself a little bit. You could go back to Lucario Level X as well. I really like the Lucario V, the full art, just the looks of it. The V Star is actually a competitive card in my opinion. Bear with me here while I get all of the items taken out of the box. Try and open this a little bit neater just because my wife Carla has been on me. She doesn't like me leaving a lot of garbage on the floor of my studio. I know I mentioned this in a recent video, second grade class where I work. Mrs. Anderson's class I actually gave out a ton of oversized cards to their entire class, one to each student. I think I was a couple cards short for the oversized ones without giving too many duplicates out. So then I was giving away the Shiny Vault subset cards from Shining Fates. So clear the table off a little bit. And there would be the Lucario V-Star. Now I'll show the normal card in a moment, but both attacks on this card are actually pretty decent. So there is the oversized card. And that's really more for collecting the oversized cards. I know the Dork Den, the gaming store that I would play league events in, they actually had a large frame on their wall with a bunch of the oversized cards displayed in. So like I said, I believe it's three Brilliant Stars, three Fusion Strike, which Fusion Strike, not a very good set overall. Terrible pull rates. So there would be two Brilliant Stars. Ooh, even worse than that. So Chilling Rain, three Fusion Strike, two Brilliant Stars. Fusion Strike, so much potential there. The largest set of all time. Pull rates are terrible. And then really none of the cards in the set are very good. Now this, to me is one of my favorite full art cards. Recently released, love the colors on it. The blue of Lucario, very striking against the orange background. Lucario V, SWSH 213 for the card number. And then the Lucario V Star, and I had a hard time holding off at Walmart, not buying the Lucario V Star premium collection box, but I knew mine was coming in the mail and it just came a day after the official release date of this box which I believe was April 8th, but Fighting Knuckle, 120 damage plus 120 more damage if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon V, and then Aura Star, 70 damage plus, actually 70 damage times each energy card attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Of course, you can only use one V-Star power attack per game. It essentially can knock out 
pretty much anything in one move. Of course, here is the V star marker, just like the GX marker. You flip it over when you used that V star power just one time. There is the pin, pretty cool looking. Here's the online TCG code card, or should I say TCG live code card. And then this is an oversized coin. It does seem like they're going with the oversized coins in general as opposed to just the regular sized ones, the ones of old. Of course, if you play in official events, you almost never flip a coin like that. You use a some type of dice that is even or odds to determine heads or tails. So I'll dig into the packs now, starting with Chilling Rain, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX on the cover artwork design. Wouldn't mind pulling one of those to either Ice Rider or Shadow Rider as a VMAX. Porygon, one of my favorite Pokemon from base set, starts the first pack of these six. Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover, Blitzel, Grass Type Energy, Avery, a very good supporter card to take down a deck like Eternatus VMAX that wants eight Pokemon on the bench. Doctor, Fog Crystal, a good way to get some energy or Pokemon, Psychic type that is, into your hand. Avery again as the Reverse Hollow, and then Gallade as the Rare. Of course, Gardevoir and Gallade both evolve from Curlia. I myself usually prefer Gardevoir. On to the few, 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 three Fusion Strike. I was getting ahead of myself there. Three Fusion Strike Booster Packs. Of course, Mew and Genesec, two of the more competitive cards in this set. Meowth to start this one, Payday, Onyx, Choodle, Shroomish, look at that, same eyebrows, maybe they're related, Klefki, Metal-type Energy, Mandibuzz, Ninetales, Farewell Bell, Reverse all of a Galarian Obstagoon. This is a rare. And the final card would be a Clay Doll. Of course, Clay Doll is part of the Classic Collection subset in Celebrations, which, depending on when I post this video to YouTube, I have a couple of collector chests that were restocked at Walmart. So I did buy a couple of those collector chests at Walmart. They were priced at MSRP, so I was happy to pick up a couple. Very happy with that opening, and it may be the last opening. If I haven't posted already, it, it more than likely will be the final Celebrations opening that I do on my channel. A good end to Celebrations in general. Makuhita starts this pack. Another Fusion Strike, Panpour, Sawaddle, Skarmory, Jinx, Lightning-type Energy, Alisa's Sparkle, Dreadnought, Shauna, Reverse Hall of a Krogunk, a Common, and then Azumarill would be the rare. All right, final Fusion Strike Booster Pack, and you can see one of the more valuable cards in the set on the cover artwork design, Gengar VMAX, the alternate art. It's a very valuable card. I've actually been lucky enough to pull that card twice. And usually, cards that are very valuable, I'm a big fan of. I'm just not a big fan of Gengar the alternate art for some reason. Galarian Meow starts the final Fusion Strike Pack and look at these borders. Left a very thick border, right very thin. Same goes for Gossifleur, Panpour, Eevee, Shanks, oh boy, Psychic Type Energy. Now they've straightened out a little bit. A Hacky Sack Wigglytuff, Phalanx, Galarian Darmanitan, Reverse Hollow, is this a rare? Is an uncommon in Turtonator. And the final card, an Azumarill. So hoping that I get some very good pulls from the two Brilliant Stars booster packs. Of course, Brilliant Stars, the newest set in the TCG right now. I am a fan of it for two reasons. Number one, the Trainer Gallery subset that has all those cool looking Trainer Pokemon cards. And then two Charizards that are very valuable in this set. The Alternate Art V, as well as the V Star Rainbow Rare have not pulled either of those Charizard cards out from any of my Brilliant Stars openings yet. Now this is the first set to include V-Star cards, Whimsicott and Arceus, two of the ones in the set. Arceus V-Star is a very competitive card. Of course, the TCG Live 
promoted on the code cards for Brilliant Stars. Dedene starts this pack, first of two. Cubchu, Farfetched, Shinx, Execute, Grass Type Energy, Sharon's Care, Pachirisu, Kindler, a decent supporter for Fire Type Pokemon. Morgrem would be the Reverse Hall, an uncommon. And the final card would be a Lipard Trade, a very good ability, similar to Zoroark GX from Shining Legends in the past. You must discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. So, of course, Zoroark GX was a staple for a very long time. It wasn't the centerpiece of a deck, but it was like Arcus V-Star, for example, where it's not your main attacker or anything. You could have used Zoroark GX with the double colorless energy, but it's really a, a role player in a deck like that. Arceus V-Star on the final pack. Really hoping for something good. The only good thing is, if I don't get anything in this pack, I did pay less than MSRP for the box, and I did get two very cool Black Star promos. And I'm assuming do have some value to them, because, in my opinion, they are competitive cards. So, final pack, it starts with Piplup, Shroomish, Purloin, Duskull, Sneasel, Darkness type energy, Floatzel, Kindler, Ultra Ball, a reprinted trainer card, Reverse Soul of a Shinx, a common. Final opportunity to pull something good? It would be a Simiseer V. So, of course, Pokemon V, not very tough to pull. You're looking at four to six per booster box, one in six packs or so. What a good way to end the opening with an Ultra Rare. So, essentially, Two cards to summarize from six packs outside of those two Black Star promos. Like I said in the beginning of the video, big fans of both of those cards. But from six packs, just not a fan of Fusion Strike at all. I do like Brilliant Stars quite well. Galarian Obstagoon, a rare reverse solo, and then the best pull, the card that I just pulled out in Simiseer V. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video if you would like to support my channel. I have a Patreon account out there. You can always purchase my book, Pokemon Cards, The Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. You can always donate directly to me through PayPal or through the live chat feature in live stream videos or premieres. And of course, the easiest thing to do for my channel, subscribe if you have not done so already, and then leave a like on this video. So that concludes this opening. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.